everyone. I am here right now in Orlando, Florida uh, for Ultra Miami. Um, so I flew into Orlando because it was cheaper, stayed with my friend tonight, and then we're driving over to our Airbnb in Miami right now. Can you see you? Yep. Cool. <laughs> Um, and we just stopped at Starbucks because you guys know I need my coffee in the morning. I could not get out of bed already. Um, to be fair though, I did not sleep Wednesday night. So I was just, I didn't sleep for two days until last night. I just had to like pack because I waited last minute and then I had to go to the airport and I had to work in the morning and it was just like a lot of things. In conclusion, we are officially on our way to Miami for Ultra Miami. It's my first time, so I'm really excited. So, yep, next time you see me. We'll be in Miami. Hi! Oh, that was the... Oh, no. Look who we found! Rough. We picked up! Yes! <laughs> I also look rough. So, like, my hair is completely damaged from everything. So Mine is super None of it is down, staying down. And I still I... have this bullshit going on. Do you have a, like, gel or yeah. something? Because I need to, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't even care anymore, dude. I just don't care. Yeah. I Heart Rave sent me outfits to wear, and, like, they expedited it here to Florida because it wasn't going to get to where I live in time. And then I got them, and they're all, like, plus size. They do not fit. Like, oh, I, there's no way I can make it work. It's just, it's not. I don't know what I'm going to wear, so... Stay tuned. It is not Hardwell. No, I'm making a joke. Yo, he coming in on the yacht though. <laughs> Can Hardwell just like airdrop in? Wait, like, did we see the yacht? No. no, we're on the other side of the building. Yeah. Yo, we out here in Miami. <laughs> this is Kat. You know her from all my other vlogs and some of them, the ones that never get posted like Wasteland. Like we started vlogging Wasteland. Oh shit, we did. Literally like this. And then by the time we got to the festival, we were so fucked. That vlog did not happen. So it's not happening this time because I got to shoot. Yeah. So she's working. So she cannot afford to do this. But this is our Airbnb. We're finally. Dude, we it was such a nightmare <laughs> to get here, to get this figured out. Yeah. Do I have everything? Yeah. Phone, phone, phone. Okay. Um, I got that Tuesday. Okay, I think I should bring my glasses in case I get lost, like separated from you and I can't find you. Wait, didn't you lose your glasses last time? Yeah, so I bought some like cheap ones oh, no. to bring just in case. But yeah, I have the key, see. right? So, yes. yeah, okay, cool. so we're just meeting them at the end. We are so late. Cool. Okay, I'm really glad we have everything, right? Mm, no. What? My wristband. No. No way. Okay, so this is my first ultra music festival and it has not gone as planned. We had the whole Airbnb situation where like three of our Airbnbs canceled on us and we had to get this one last minute. We were literally on the phone with Airbnb for like four hours. Luckily, we finally got this place. That's one thing to feel better about. On top of that, I got like a new vlogging stick, but it didn't come with the attachment for me to attach my phone. So I'm vlogging with my hand right now, which I cannot do for three days of a festival. So when we get to like this marketplace area, we're gonna see if there's an attachment. And on top of all that, I left my wristband in the Airbnb and we don't have our keys. So I'm just, I have to go wait and will call and they sent like a, a picture of what the lines look like outside and it's just, atrocious. <sighs> what a life. Super short for will call, but the line 
to get in is insane. I'm never getting in. It is what it is. At least I have at least I have Fat Tuesday to keep me company. Hey. You did it right. Cheers. Dude, we're gonna be here forever, so <laughs> I have to pee so bad right now. This oh is like no, the worst that is the worst. <laughs>
fortune. We understand that you have come tonight to bear witness to the sound of drum and bass. We regret to announce that this is not the case, as instead we come tonight to bring you the sonic recreation of the end of the world.
just left. No, I mean that. That shit show. I'm trying to get back to our hotel with that crowd. You want to get a big thing of juice? Oh wait, no, that's a cob salad. Never mind. Yes, I absolutely do. Do I want this? I kind of want. I do for as fruit. well. Do you need right. chips? Do you need oh. snacks? Oh, you want this? Snacks. See? Why? What? Uh, if you can carry it. It's seven dollars though. My hands are full. I don't want to pay seven dollars for pretzels. Okay, let's not then. But I want them. Are we gonna Uber Eats? I really want like real food. Okay, yeah. I really like. Yeah, this will anything that's edible. Like I'm really hungry. Is it like legal to open shit and start drinking it now, or do I have to pay for it first? I don't know. Because I'm so thirsty. No. This was not here when I came in 10 minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes ago? That's how it was at CDS. Like, we walked in, it was empty, and then there were people yeah. left. Oh my god, y'all. I just made it back to my Airbnb. Today was day one of Ultra. It was... It was a night to remember. It... I was so bitter, like everything went wrong today, like we had three Airbnbs canceled, we had no place to stay until like 4pm, finally got an Airbnb, it took like hours, literally hours to get into the festival, I haven't eaten since the airport yesterday, I hadn't peed, I hadn't drank water, like it was so miserable and I, I just had so much bad luck, like so much bad luck and then at the end of all of this bad luck, I fucking just casually ran into Elenium and his girlfriend who was amazing literally when I was at my lowest point at this festival when I was having like the shittiest time when I was so just tired of everything and just wanted to leave I just ran into Elenium and I was like it's like everything came together so I met him in that very spot at that very second and like uh, and I like was so overwhelmed that I had to just like sit down on the grass and kind of like chill for a second and then while I was chilling I met the super cool guy he was really really nice and then shortly after I met Elenium I actually saw Pendulum live and I've literally never seen them live I've been raving for 15 years and I've never seen them all together as a group like I've seen DJ sets of just like one or two of them but never all three of them and it was a live set and it was amazing and I was on the rail and it was like so much fun so like the festival ended in a very good way, but like before I met Elenia, it was a really rough day, you guys. It was just, everything went wrong. I was so over my first ultra, and yes, it has its flaws, but like I met Elenia, and I was on the rail for Pendulum Live, and it was just, it ended up being a good night. I almost didn't post a vlog, but like, yeah.